Now to step six, the all difficult adding background colors. So let's have a look at the tutorial and let's have a look at what he wants us to do. Okay, so on the tutorial of adding background colors, he wants to merge four different colors to create a back, colorful background color. And if you have a look at the top up here, you can see these colors striped across almost like a rainbow. Now, he's going to use this using the pen tool and by creating paths. Now, what's difficult about this tutorial is he doesn't actually describe how to create the paths correctly. Um, skips over a little selection tool that you've got to choose to create a path. Now, let's have a go at it. So, if you select the pen tool, so up the top here you have two options for the pen tool. One is to create color fills. Let me show you. If I just change the color, because you won't see it because it's on a black background, and I click around, you can see it creates fills. The second tool here is the Paths tool. And by clicking on the Paths tool, you can create paths that don't have fills. You can use this for doing other effects, such as writing along a curved line. Now, what we're going to do here is, first of all, we select the Brush tool by pressing B, or just selecting it from down here. And then you want to choose a feathered edged brush. I'm going to choose a size of 65 and I'm going to click back on the screen somewhere. Then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go over to my layers and create a new layer. And I'm going to call this glow. Now I go to my pass tool by selecting my pen and make sure that I'm on the pass tool and I'm going to click a line from here to here and then if I right click on the screen somewhere I get stroke paths I click on that I choose the brush which will have the settings that I've already just put in and simulate pressure and press OK and there we have one of our strokes. Okay, This effect I've done before as well for lots and lots of different light waves and stuff and it's very very useful because now you can sort of bend it and do other things with it as well. Okay so I'm going to get rid of this path now and to get rid of this path I'm going to right click on it with the pen tool selected and if you click anywhere on it you'll have the delete path options and that will come up. Now I'm going to slightly deviate from uh, the options that I uh, was done by Silver in the um, tutorial and I'm going to press Control T and enlarge this to the correct size that I want. If I double click on it and apply it, oh, need the arrow tool again And that's not too bad. I'd probably need to enlarge that a bit more. So if I go to my navigator option, which in your toolbar window will be this little sort of ship steering wheel. If I click on that and then just zoom out a bit, sorry. Press Control T. I'd say that there is about right for me. Okay, so I've double clicked on it to apply it. And I zoom back out. Now, the colors he uses in the tutorial are these colors. If you want to pause it and use these actual colors, you can. What I'm going to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. Bring it in here. And I'm going to change it just the hue to approximately the right colour. Let's get that pinky. Actually, let's colourise it. And put the saturation up a bit. Okay, so that's almost about right for the pink. If I hold down Alt, 
and I'm on the arrow tool and press drag I can drag it out and now go to image adjustments hue and saturation and change this to that blue colorize it heavy saturation the blue hold down alt and drag it out image adjustments hue and saturation again colorize heavy saturation and make it that greenish and do it the last time and make it the yellow Colorize, heavy saturation, okay that'll do me, I'm just going to put that there, and then as this is the top layer that I'm on here, glow copy 3, I'm going to press E, control and E, Control and E and Control and E to make them all on the same layer. And there we have our glow background. Now, actually, because it's simulated pressure, you could do some cool stuff with this as well in the future. You could pull this down here and you actually get like these strip light effects going across it, which I quite like as well, which would work very well in this tutorial. But for the moment, I'm going to go from about there and that's fine. Now we're on to step 8 of the tutorial, which is making this a soft and smooth blur on the background here. So if I go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and take it up as recommended to 66.4, roughly, that will blur it out and you get this lovely effect of them all merging together which I really really like. Right, now what we need to do is, and this isn't made totally clear to me, is we need to bring the effects layer above the glow layer now. So if I click and hold on it and drag it up, we need it above the actual glows in the background there. And I'm just going to move that into the middle there as well, okay?